Some neighbors in Grand Forks are frustrated and they say they're fed up after finding trees, branches and wood pallets at some of the local yard waste dump sites. The sites are only supposed to be used to get rid of grass clippings and leaves and several took to Facebook saying those who dump anything larger are inconsiderate while also calling for cameras to be installed at the sites. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with someone who says he doesn't see what the problem is as he dumps trees at the dumping grounds all the time. The sign makes it pretty straightforward, but grass and leaves aren't the only things that end up here. If you don't want it in your yard, you got to get rid of it. Well, what do you do with it? You take it to a dump site, but the dump site does not have one for wood. All you have is grass trimmings or whatever you call it. The city says they currently have nine yard waste sites, with two of those being specifically for branches and wood. At those sites, add bins for trees, add bins for scrap. At least it's an option for anyone at any point in time to dispose of anything. Anderson says he doesn't see why all of Grand Forks' sites can't have branches dumped as well, saying he hopes that's something the city looks to change. Specific ones around town, the ones that I was looking for when I had the tree, was uh, only for grass clippings. The city says it's not unusual to find other items at those dumping sites especially after large storms when branches and trees get blown around. Beats thrown in a ditch. And as for those Facebook comments saying people like Anderson are inconsiderate to city workers and the rules of the waste sites, Anderson says he couldn't care less. They can think what they want. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. And I mean, I bet you five bucks they're not going to walk up to me and tell me different. In Grand Forks, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. If you have a tree or large branches, you can't take it to a dumping site. Grand Forks crews will take care of it for you, but it's not going to be free. There's a minimum charge of 35 bucks. Our stretch of really nice weather is continuing, so try to get outside tonight and enjoy it. Let's get our first look at the Wednesday night weather planner with Justin in No Wait Weather. Yeah, thank you, Andrea. Mike, good evening, everybody. Yes, we have a really nice evening ahead. It will be mild. Temperatures falling from the upper 70s back into the mid 70s by around 8 o'clock, lower 70s by around 9 o'clock. With clear skies, it'll be mild and dry for most of us this evening. Currently, still into the upper 70s in Lakes Country in northwestern Minnesota, and some lower 80s from Fargo out toward the Devil's Lake Base in the Northern Valley and out toward Jamestown. The wind is light from a northerly direction. And we are seeing uh, plenty of sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds across the Canadian border and west of Devil's Lake. And that is it for the moisture. We got more of the same for tomorrow and just a few chances of moisture in the next seven days. We'll get into that a little later on the newscast. Now, let's send it out to Hutch Johnson at the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue. Thanks so much, Justin. I'll tell you what, this warm weather, it seemed like it came out of nowhere. It's been a cool and long spring uh, and very wet as well. So the sunshine well, feels fantastic here at this week's Cashwise Backyard Barbecue winner, Lauren Brandenburg. Lauren, tell us where you signed up to win. I signed up at the West Fargo Cashwise. Okay, very good. Now, you had a big group out here, and uh, how did everybody enjoy the, the fixings? I think they loved it. <laughs> did you have to do a lot of work to get ready? No, none. <laughs> none at all? Okay, well, that's good. Well, hopefully you can get to the meat department in your local Cashwise. Sign up for the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue. According to Lauren here, it's a lot of fun, and I think it's a lot of fun to get out and would love to come to your backyard and uh, hang out with you as the Cashwise guys fix up the goods. For now, we'll toss it back into the studio because I believe there's a little leftovers, but I'm sure I can take care of that. I'm sure you won't have time to bring them back to us. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. Probably not. Fargo police are still looking for the person they tried pulling over for driving recklessly. It happened just before noon in the 1700 block of 40th Street South. They say someone driving a motorcycle ditched the bike near 42nd Street South after a short chase. As a precaution, staff at the YMCA were asked to bring children who were playing outside into the building. If you know who the person is, let police know right away. A Fargo man is in jail tonight after police say he ran from them outside West Acres Mall Tuesday afternoon. Police say 39-year-old Burton Bonham was walking outside the mall. They knew he had multiple warrants out for his arrest, including suspicion of fleeing officers and stealing a car. Officers had to chase him down before arresting him. Bonham is now facing additional charges, including refusing to halt and preventing arrest. Police in Moorhead are asking for your help in locating this individual, Troy White Owl. 
He's wanted for a probation violation for fifth degree drug possession and for a probation violation on a domestic assault charge. If you have any information on White Owl, contact the phone number on your screen, 701-451-7660. Fargo police are asking for your help in identifying this person of interest in an unlawful use of credit card case. If you have any information, call 701-241-1405, reference photo 112. A Jamestown man is facing attempted murder charges from a dispute with police back in April. 47-year-old Ray Hunter was arrested at the M&H gas station after he refused to comply with officers and tried to grab a handgun. Officers immediately disarmed Hunter and took him into custody. Court documents state Hunter faces charges of reckless endangerment, terrorizing, preventing arrest, and possession of a controlled substance. He's also charged with carrying a concealed firearm, disorderly conduct, and possession of a controlled substance. A drug bust in Foster County, North Dakota, has landed four people in jail. Investigators say a search warrant was executed Friday at 175 First Avenue North in Carrington. Several pieces of contraband were found. Arrested were Jeffrey Hulbert, Jonathan Algets, Lawrence Sansoni, and James Shan Jr. Some of the charges include unlawful possession of drug paraphernalia, packaging, and ingesting of a controlled substance. It was an exciting day for Eventide Senior Living as they broke ground on a new project that is bringing dozens of new units and even a theater to their facility in Moorhead, right across the street from the Concordia football field. This project also includes a kitchen for restaurant-style dining, a pub room and an outdoor courtyard for residents, and for those living with Alzheimer's and dementia, an existing building will be transformed into an 18-apartment living memory care unit. On top of that, the project is adding 73 additional apartment units. We have found out in our campus in Fargo that a lot of the three bedroom, two bath are very popular right now. And so it's really trying to adjust to many uh, needs, many differing um, ideas of what that lifestyle should include. And the more that we can open up our offerings to as many people as possible, the better, the better place we're going to be in down the road. The new four story tower and renovations are expected to take about two years. Certainly a nice night for a bonfire. Fargo Fire Department wants to remind you about these safety steps. Even in a well-controlled setting, fire can be unpredictable. Maintaining a clearance of 25 feet from any structure, including fences and decks, will greatly reduce the risk of a hot ember coming in contact with other combustibles. If your fire container or pit has an approved cover, like the ones pictured on your screen, it's much easier to control embers. And because of this, a clearance of 15 feet is allowable. Later on Valley News Live at 6, tough to enjoy a game of golf when you're dealing with flooding. We'll update the status of a popular North Fargo course. And dry today. Temperature is getting into the lower 80s. We should only be in the lower 70s this time of year. More warm weather is on the way for tomorrow and for the middle of next week. Well, the details coming up.